Hey everybody, hi and welcome and thanks for joining me and my sidekicks for today's video. So excited as I always am every time my Transcend comes. I love Transcend. Love, love, love this box. My stylist Emma is amazing. She always knocks it out of the park. Like every single time there has never been a box where I have not kept more than one item. Like I think the lowest is probably three or four. I always keep so many items out of these boxes because she knocks it out of the park every time. So I can't wait to dig into this box. So I do have sidekicks with me today, but they're not, they're, their energy is not very high. Zizi, you want to say hi? Can you say hi to everybody? Say hi. <laughs> and Wyatt's here too. You want to say hi? You're going to help out? Oh, look, now Zane is Zane is already wanting to leave. Don't leave. She's like, forget it. If you're going to want me to participate, I'm out of here. I'll try to get her to stay. <laughs> She's too funny. So Transcend is a styling service through the store Ever Eve. Um, the closest one to me is probably about an hour away, so I do not get to it very often at all. So this is the perfect way for me to have the store come to me. Um, $20 styling fee does get credit to credited towards anything that you decide to keep. Um, if you keep four or more items, you get 10% off um, the items that you keep. And you get three outfits, which usually equivalents, is equivalent of eight items. I'm having a tough time talking here, guys. Um, so let's get started and get this box open. And where did my scissors go? Here they are. So I think that's all the details. And stick with me to the end because they have some brand new theme boxes. So they just started doing theme boxes, which the last one I did was the theme box and they switched them out. So they have different theme boxes at different times. They have four brand new ones. I want you guys to help me decide because I think the next box I'm going to do is going to be a theme box and you guys need to help me which one help me decide which one I should try next. All right, here is the inside of my oh, Here's the inside of my box. And I see an item I put on my wish list on Ever Eve. If you use the same email address for the Ever Eve store as you do for Trendsend, then you could get some items from your wish list. I'm so excited. I see one item I did um, have on my wish list. So that's fun. So you can, and I do that sometimes it's for items that I'm watching on the Ever Eve store to see if they'll go on sale. And sometimes it's just to give my stylist an idea of the things that I like, just so it gives her something to work with. You do get um, a little packet here of information. It tells you notes from your stylist and she does give me notes on the overall box as well as on each of the items. So we'll get to that in just a minute. Oh, this is so exciting. You do get an envelope to return anything you don't love and don't want to keep. It's free shipping both ways. I'm so excited. Oh, this looks so fun. All right, let's dig right in. We'll start with the, we'll start with the uh, first bundle that has an item that I know I um, had on my wish list. So the first bundle says, but first, gratitude. I'm so excited. <laughs> oh, this is so fun. All right. So this very first item I'm going to show you, I had on my wish list. I don't know why. I just love it. It's probably something from my childhood or that has to be it. But it is a little sweatshirt by Chaser, and it is Bon Jovi. I love it. It says, wanted dead or alive. So I used to go to Bon Jovi concerts. Love this. I just, for some reason, it stood out to me, and I put it on my wish list. So I am really excited to um, try this on. It's Chaser. It is super soft, and I really like it does have the uh, banded wrist and it is banded at the bottom as well, but it is thin enough that I feel like I could wear this under a jacket. Love it. Now, it looks like she did not pair it with a jacket. Is that not cool? On a dead or alive, I love it. Okay, she didn't pair it with a, a um, jacket. She paired it with a cardigan here. This is by Allison Joy and this is a longer cardigan. So it's a nice white with black stripes here, pocket. This is cute. Has little um, slits here on the side. I like this. That'll pair well with that. And to finish off the outfit, oh, these are so cute. I think these might've been on my wish list as well. And she's been doing such a great job because when she picks out outfits, a lot of times the 
um, outfits will intermingle as well. Um, but these are really cute. These are level 99 joggers. Check these out. They have a camo print, but it's very, so actually it looks really better whenever I put it in the light. For me, it wasn't quite, didn't stand out quite as well as I'm seeing it now with this little bit of fluorescent yellow, which if you guys watched my last box, I had this fluorescent yellow and some of the items I got from that box and kept, which was a um, cardigan. And I'm thinking there might've been one other item, a sweater, I think. So this was so cute. It has the uh, jogger bottoms, the zipper, and they're in a, it's pretty much just a gray and a black. It's so cute, I love these. That is such a cute outfit. I love it. All right, let's see what she has to say. All right, so she says, Laura, I'm so happy that you're back for your monthly box. Also, congrats. Oh, so she watched my videos. Congrats to your son um, and his hockey team for their big win at the tournament, which I had talked about in one of my videos. So that's awesome. Thank you, Emma. I hope you're all doing well and finding easy to transition back into normal life post holiday season. I don't know you got about you guys, but I'm finding it kind of rough. For this box, I found some fun updates that will get you through the remaining winter season with a few hints of spring to freshen up your wardrobe. I love that. I'm all about spring after the holidays. I can't wait to see what you love. All right, so for outfit number one, which is the outfit that I just uh, I just picked. So it is the Alice and Joy Sterling Striped Cardigan, the Chaser Bon Jovi Sweatshirt, and the Level 99 Jolie Utility Pant with Neon Zipper is what it's called. I was so excited to see the Utility Pants and Bon Jovi Sweatshirt on your wish list because they pair perfectly together and will be two new staples for your wardrobe. Front tuck the sweatshirt into the bottoms and slip on the striped cardi with a sneaker to create a fun look to wear as you travel and enjoy casual weekends out with your friends and family. The waistband on this pair of utility bottoms has less stretch than the animal print pair you own. So I decided to send you your true size. Okay. So that's good to know. I did get a pair in the fall that is a um, animal print. I love them. Um, they're fantastic. So this is so perfect. I'm excited. All right. Next. Oh, so fun. This looks fun too. Look at this one. <gasps> All right, this says play more. This looks so fun. Oh, I love this. Okay, so there's stuff folded together here, but this is what I'm seeing right off the bat. I love a silk bomber, I'm such a sucker for it. And inside of it is folded a chaser. Um, oh, so I got this chaser tea back. So I did have this in one of my boxes previously and I did not keep it so I have a second chance here this is like a thermal tee with the buttons and the rounded hem at the bottom and I see she resent it because it's on sale so that's cool I like the scooped I liked it I didn't keep it because it was expensive um, <clears throat> so this is a second chance all right, there's that. And then she had it with this Peyton Jensen animal print. I would call this animal print, right? We'll see what they call it. Almost looks like that. Maybe it's just a multicolor, but this looks like an animal print to me. Um, um, bomber jacket. I love this. Is that not adorable? It is so cute. And it has the black and white stripe at the wrist as well as at the bottom. Pockets. I love it. You guys know if you watch my videos, I love jackets. I'm such a sucker for a cool jacket. And I love that. <laughs> it is so cute. Oh, I love it so far. This is so cute. All right. And she put it with a pair of cut from the cloth jeans in a lighter wash. These are really cute. And I'm going to see what kind they are. Do they tell me? She sent me a size down, which is perfect. These are the Mia Highway Skinny. They're just a little bit of distressing, but nothing drastic, which is nice. Just a little bit here. So no actual holes. Those are so cute. Oh, I love these outfits. Oh, why am I going to be in trouble here, dude? All right, this is outfit number two. The Chaser Thermal Button Cuff Tee, the Peyton Jensen Brooke Bomber Jacket, and the Cut From The Cloth Mia Highway Skinny. 
The jacket was another piece I was so happy to see you requested because I was already planning on sending it to you. It's such a fun update to your moto jacket collection. <laughs> I don't have one of those. <laughs> I know I have one on, right? And will keep you comfortable and put together all day long. Pair it with the thermal tee you tried a few boxes ago that's now on sale and this new pair of cut jeans. I size down for you like I typically do since they will relax as you wear them. You can rock this with Converse and heel booties depending on the occasion. Oh, such a cute outfit. I feel like my um, jacket obsession is now like known far and wide. <laughs> it's like that bad. Oh my. Okay. And my last outfit says with heart. And it has like some of that little bit of neon in it. I see a sweater. Oh, this is cute. Oh, isn't this cute? This is by Jameson. And this is a snake print. Um, I guess it's a sweater. I almost feels sweatshirty, but I guess it's a sweater. This is so cute. It has the stripe here at the shoulder, banded at the wrist and at the bottom. Isn't that cute? I almost would call this almost looks chartreuse-y. Um, almost like the green, uh, it's like a yellowy green in there, but isn't that pretty? That is so cute. I like that. It's very, very soft. And then another sweater she sent me in this really pretty, this is Rag Poets, in this really pretty limey color. Um, yeah, that I really like. I see one, one arm is rolled here, so I guess you could cup it. The other one is long. We'll see how long these sleeves are, but this is very pretty as well. Let's see how this looks on me. Bright colors. I love bright springy colors. All of these pieces are so pretty. This would also probably look really nice with the, um, joggers, right? Okay. Outfit three. The Jameson Snake Varsity Pullover and the Rag Poets Cipriani Dolman Sleeve. I found you two bonus tops that will add some interest to your style this season. The neon sweater pairs well with the camo bottoms and the snake pullover will be worn, can be worn with the jeans. It will also look great with your Spanx pont, Ponte leggings for a more elevated outfit to wear for work and date nights. So I think these are some really awesome pieces. I cannot wait to try them on. So let's get right to it. Okay, so I have the first outfit on, which is this Bon Jovi sweatshirt that, for some reason, I just love. I love that it has this lower scoop. I love how soft it is. I did the front tuck, as Emma suggested. Um, overall, it's just a great, comfy um, top. I think I could wear with a bunch of different things, and I just know it's not cheap because I remember putting it in my... <laughs> on my wish list to watch it to go on sale, but um, I really do like it. It's so soft. I put it on with these joggers, which I also love. I think that little pop of fluorescent at the bottom is just fun. Um, it does, I think, dress them down a little bit, keeps them from being dressy, but they are joggers um, and they are, um, just because of that, I think that makes them not overly dressy but I still think you can dress these up. I hope I'm making sense um, from being just typical casual. So I did put on booties with them. I'll put the cardigan on for one minute in just a moment. Um, but I do think, I know she said she sent me my regular size because the last time I did downsize on the um, level 99 joggers, I do think I might have to downsize again. Um, these do seem to have quite a bit of room in the waist for me and I have a little bit of bagging at the knee that if I downsize, I think I might be able to get rid of. Otherwise, I think the the length is great. I have a little bit of extra room here too, which I'd like to get rid of. So I think by downsizing, I can do that. So hopefully they're available because I do really like them. I think they're cute. So here's what they look like before I cover everything up with the cardigan. So this is a nice longer cardigan. It is a little bit on the thinner side, so not bulky at all. Um, I do like the stripes being separated out instead of just being, con you know, um, consistent. I like the bigger gaps between them. It does have the pockets. It has the little slits on the side. 
So what do you guys think of this outfit? I like it. So I think this is a great basic cardigan that you could wear with um, many things. And I think it would go well into spring, so it's not bulky. Um, it doesn't scream winter or anything like that, so I think it would be great going into spring. You could also wear it over dresses. So I'll get a little bit closer so you guys can see it. All right, so let's do another outfit. So here is the sweater, so the extra sweater that Emma sent to go with these um, joggers. And I do like that it matches the fun little um, zipper on these pants. I like that. That's pretty cute. Um, the sweater is has kind of these dolman sleeves, which are not my favorite. That's They, they drive me a little bit crazy, and I think they look kind of funky. Um, so one sleeve was rolled, the other was not. I think you can see I probably do need it rolled. So there's that. I do like the color. I think it's kind of fun. And um, I'm just not sure. I think I like everything except for these dolman sleeves. Like see, I'm already not sure what to do with them. I did a front tuck. It's not very long in the, in the at all. So you can see it just comes down a little bit past the waistband. And I think my favorite part about this is the color of it. So you guys let me know what you think about this one. We'll see what the price of it is, but I think these sleeves might make me crazy. I kind of feel like I have bat wings or flying squirrel wing wings. I wish it didn't have these. If it was just regular sweater, I would be real, I would be so into it, I think. All right, so this is a close-up look at it, and let's get to the next outfit. All right, so now I have on the cut from the cloth jeans and this chaser thermal tee with the scoop neck, which I do like. It has these fun buttons here on the wrist. It does have the scooped bottom. Um, hopefully you can see the ribbing going the whole way through here. And it does come up on either side. Otherwise, it's, it's nice and long. It's nice and warm. And... Um, yeah, other than that, I think it's a cute layer. It's so nice, a little bit warmer than a basic tee for underneath things. So I think it's cute. And now it's on sale. The jeans are nice as well. I think they might be a little long on me. So you can see I have some scrunching here at the bottom. Um, so they're probably an inch or two too long on me. Um, they are high-waisted, so they do come up pretty high. Other than that, the fit is great. I like the lighter wash, and I don't have any complaints. They're just a smidge too long on me. But let's try on the jacket with this outfit. Let me do a front tuck here real quick. And we'll see what this jacket looks like, which I so love. Of course I do, right? I think this would look um, cute even with the t-shirt I had on. I have my little going um, going out shirt, t-shirt on today, also from a transcend. I think that would look cute underneath here. I have a tag sticking me. And um, yeah, I think this is cute. What do you guys think? Here's the whole outfit. I think it's very cute. I do have lots of room, so I can zip it the whole way up and have room. Probably wouldn't do that. I like it. I'll get a little bit closer so you guys can see it. I think the print is fun. I like the colors in it. It's almost like a pinky tan color in it, and I do like the black and white stripe at the bottom. So I think this is really cute. I need to do something with this tag. All right, that's really cute. 
And I have one more um, top to try on for you. Let's do it. All right, and this is the last item, which is this fun little snake print pullover with those striping at the bottom and the band. And um, this is so, so soft. It has a nice, round, um, little bit of almost a scoop neckline, which I really like. It feels fantastic on. I just left it on with the jeans and the booties that I had on. Super cute. And it wouldn't ride up. You can see it doesn't really move. I like it. You could put, we could wear this. It's thin enough that you could put a jacket over top of this. I'm almost wondering if it wouldn't look cute over top of, or underneath, underneath the um, jacket I had on to kick off this video. Oh yeah. Oh, doesn't that look cute? Ugh, come on. What do you guys think of that? I kind of like that. I'll get closer so you guys can see the green in this coat and then that little bit of the greenish inside this top. I think that looks kind of cute together. And it went over really nicely. Yeah, I kind of like it. And I already have the jacket. <laughs> ah. But overall, I think this is cute. It's a nice little top. I think you could dress it up like I did with the jacket or wear it as casual as well. So you could definitely wear it with tennis shoes or booties. All right, that is all my items. Let's see how much this stuff costs. All right, so how fun was that? Did Emma not do an amazing job? She always does every single time. Love you, Emma. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Awesome box once again. All right. And um, please stay with me because I'm going to read you the new themed boxes next time. And I want you guys to tell me which ones you think you which one you think I should try next because I think I'm going to try to do another box this month and go with one of the theme boxes. All right, but let's try to run through these prices real quick, and you guys tell me what you think. So first up were the jeans cut from the cloth, eighty nine dollars. Um, I have to keep if I keep four, I get a discount. So. Um, I'm thinking these were too long for me, so I'm thinking these are a no. I liked them, but I just think they're too long and I'd just be fussing with them. So I think these are a no. Next up was this really cute uh, Jameson pullover. I really liked it, $88. It's so soft, I wish you guys could feel it. I loved it under that jacket I was wearing today um, over top of my going out shirt. Um, and I love that jacket, oh, loved it. It's like one of my very, very favorite jackets that I have gotten this year. I wore it today. I got compliments. I just loved it. Anyway, I thought this looked really cute under it and I'm ugh, leaning towards keeping this one. So you guys have to help me pick your top four, but this one is a definite maybe. I liked it. Next up is this Chaser um, Black Thermal Tee. I thought this was really cute. Um, it's a great layer, especially for warmth. It was $75. It's on sale for $59.99. So I do really like it. Very, very cute. Next up is this jacket. You guys know I love, love, love this jacket. Um, it is leopard. The color is leopard. I was making sure I wasn't crazy thinking I'm seeing animal uh, print designs and everything. So there, this is leopard. Um, and the price of it is $88. I really like it. I'm leaning towards keeping this one too. What did you guys think of this on? I thought it was so fun. Dressy, you could wear this dressy or casual tennis shoes or heels. I really love stuff like that that's so versatile, especially um, for my lifestyle. So I'm leaning towards a yes for that one. Next up is the joggers. I really like these too. I know these are expensive. Yeah, they're 128. Um, I really like these. I do think I probably need to size down to get rid of some of that extra um, wrinkles and and um, get gathering that I actually had going on there but I really liked these and I, I think this is just fun so I have to see but I'm leaning towards keeping these I really liked them 
This I wasn't so sure about. This is by Rag Poets. It's $72. I really love the color. I really liked it with the um, doggers. I loved where I was going with it. I just don't know if I can stand these bat wings. So let me know what you guys thought. Ugh, and of course, <laughs> of course the Bon Jovi sweatshirt. I so want this. So I'm probably going to end up keeping this. It's um, by Chaser and it's $79. So not cheap, but I really like it. And I, I know I will wear it. So I'm leaning towards a yes for that. And then last up is the cardigan. What did you guys think of this one? This one is 98 I thought this was really pretty. And I thought it would go with a lot. And I also think this would transition well into spring. So I did like this. So this is also a maybe. Well, I think about what I can afford to keep and not keep this month. But I really did like this box. And I did just look. So I ran through the pricing that was on all the items. And I did just look at my pricing sheet. And one of you used my link. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. So I did get 20% off these items. So the prices I read to you were the um, actual prices on the items. I'm getting 20% off that price. Thank you. Um, I so appreciate when you guys use my referral link. That really helps me out tremendously and helps me continue to bring you guys content. I will um, put my link down below in case any of you want to use, um, want to sign up for Transcend because this is my one of my very, very favorite services. Um, because if you use my link, you also get 20% off your box. But thank you so much. So that does take my pricing down a little bit. And then if I keep four more items, I get another 10% off of that as well. So that helps quite a bit. Um, and now I just have to think what I should keep. All right. So you guys have to help me. Share below your top four and what you think I should keep. And since I do have the extra 20%, I definitely think I'm keeping the Bon Jovi sweatshirt. So that would be a number one. And I'm really leaning towards uh, the jacket, the joggers maybe, and then what? Maybe the snake print pullover? I don't know. Or the Cardi? All right. That's when you guys come in. Definitely help me down below. Please, please, please share your top four with me. Um, I need help. All right, again, thank you to those of you who have used my link. That so, so, so helps me out so much. And because of that, I definitely think I might ask for an on-demand box and get one of the themed boxes um, early, earlier in the, between my normal monthly boxes and share it with you guys. They have four new themes going on. The first one is called the Zamboni Queen. So they say you don't have to choose between toasty and chic, heat up the rink, with cozy looks that are easy on the ice and highlight your figure eight. All right, that's the first one. The next one is called the Halftime Show-Off Box. Here's the game plan. Get styled in sporty vibes that deserve a victory dance and make getting dressed for the big game a snap. That was the second one. The third one is called the Weekend Warrior Box. Win the weekend with grocery running, dog walking, barely making it to practice outfit. So cozy yet so pulled together. And the fourth theme box is the Style CEO Box. Regarding your work style, your 9 to 5 look deserves a promotion. Get styled in easy chic outfits and make your mornings a breeze. So those are the four new themed boxes. Tell me which one you think I should give a try. All right, so vote down below. Also tell me your top four items and which theme box you think I should give a try here between my monthly boxes. All right, go. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for spending time with me and my Sleepy Sidekicks today. Um, please hit that like button. That really helps me and my channel. I would also love if you would hang up to the long haul and hit that subscribe button. That really uh, supports me as well. If you've already subscribed, thank you, thank you, thank you. Zena wants me to wrap this up, so that's what I'll do. Until next time, everyone, have an amazing day. Bye.